Hi guys, how are you? Happy Friday. Oh, thank God it's Friday. Sorry, super thirsty. I haven't had like any water today. I realized earlier I hadn't eaten like it all today. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, guess who's going black to blonde tomorrow? Black to blonde, back to blonde. So pumped, cannot wait. Going to see my girl, Jamie. Let me just post my Alana pretty and pink. Eh, come on, dude. Dot. Oh my god, my phone's being dumb. Ah! Dot com. Okay. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Rachel. Here we go. Let me just pin that. Pin comment. Here we go. Yes, so I'm going back to blonde tomorrow. I literally cannot wait. Um, I just got my blonde extensions in. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Um, but they're like the clip-in ones, so I was playing with it, and I was like, this is so weird. I haven't had long hair in forever. So just getting a trim and getting my blonde hair back, thank God. Hi, Charlie. So very excited. Hi, Marky. Um, but we are going to play around with some of more, well, some more of this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous palette. Love it. I love it so much. Hi, Carol. Um... So let me start off by putting on some eye primer and my face primer. I cannot wait to go back to blonde. So these extensions I got, I gotta tell you about them. Um, they I found them on Amazon, and they were nine dollars for this full head of hair of extensions. And I was like, okay, nine dollars. And I love them already. <laughs> I have like mermaid hair, mermaid. All right, so we're putting on our face primer. And they're freaking gorgeous. So applying this all over. So what's everyone doing this Friday night? We are ordering in pizza, because that's healthy. <laughs> um, and getting some drinks. And we're just going to hang out at home. We're not big, like, party people. We like to stay home. Or at least I like to stay home. And I know my husband likes to stay home because I don't like going out that much. Mm -mm, it's not for me. Not my fave. Not my fave. I used to. And now I'm like, if I can't wear my sweatpants, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm like, yeah, have to wear sweatpants. Not going otherwise. All right, so that is not the color we want. Where did I put that one color? Where is it? <clears throat> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, possibly that one, but we definitely want this one. All right, so we're going to do a pretty, pretty plum look. And what that's going to do is a lot of devoted and alluring. So we're going to take devoted. I'm tapping off any excess. So I'm doing this before my foundation again today, okay? And I'm putting this on the crease shadow brush. And I'm putting it literally in the crease, okay? And I'm feathering it up too a little bit. I'm gonna have to blend that a little better. The crease brush is very stiff, which is a good thing um, because it really gets the color in there. It's not so much for blending as it is for um, concentrating color in a specific spot. Because the fluffier brushes, what they're going to do is they're going to move the product around a little bit more. So crease brushes, they're stiffer. So they're meant to really just kind of keep stuff in one place. Alright, so let me just take this brush. Also got to figure out what lip bon bon I'm going to wear today. So I'm taking our blending brush. And I'm using this to blend it upward, Okay. I just thought today was a good day to play with the plums. You know, this palette really gets very much pink, which is a good thing. But don't forget about like this beautiful deep purple that is to die for. To die for. I love it. It's a gorgeous plum. So we are in the crease. Now using a blending brush to really kind of move the product around a little better. Get it more fluffy looking. Fluffy. It's so fluffy. 
All right, so next up we're going to take um, Victoria's Splurge. <clears throat> and we're going to put that all over our top lid. All right, so we're taking Victoria's Splurge. And smoothing that in. To be all over the top lid. All right, so it's gonna be kind of like a cut crease, kind of not. The splurge is really because, so it is a matte color. Hi, Andrea. Um, the whole point of it is the reason why it's matte color and it's nude, I want to bring the color of alluring out a little bit more. So to highlight that, I'm using more of a base so the color shows up much brighter. Guys, this palette, so by the way, this palette is almost 55% sold out. Yeah, 55. It's not even the 10th. <laughs> so, if you want it, you gotta go get it. And let me tell you, I'm buying like 10 more of these because I'm in love with it. I'm like, oh my god, this is everything. So I'm just kind of going back over with that plum color, devoted, devoted, here I'll show you. So this is the palette, this is like a shimmery pink, this is a nice pale pink. Um, this is devoted, which is this gorgeous plum we're playing with. Whenever I talk like that, I feel like Bob Ross. Can I just tell you, I feel like Bob Ross. Ah, right there, happy little curves, happy little eyeshadows. All right, so we're just blending it in a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I don't have foundation on. I can scratch my face. I'm like, what? You know when you have foundation on, you feel like you can't scratch your face because you're like, okay, I can't do that. Like, I just put all my foundation on. I got to, like, poke it. I forgot I had no foundation on yet. All right, so next up, we're gonna do the color Alluring, which is freaking gorgeous too. I love this palette. Um, Not dab brush. Let's see. We're gonna use, um, oops, that fell. We're gonna use, we're gonna use this brush. So we're gonna use this nice little flat brush. And we're going to use Alluring right here. And tapping off any excess. And applying that to the splurge. Ooh, I like this a lot. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it like that. So please don't mind my eyebrows. They're still in that lovely whole healing phase. So they're still pretty not cute looking. <clears throat> Soon they will get to be cute again. Once they are fully healed. I'm telling you though, microblading, totally worth it. If you have the opportunity, take advantage of it. Go get it done. You're going to love me. Trust me. Trust me. All right, let me just clean this brush off. Um, Because it's like my favorite blending brush. I love our unique blending brush, but this one, who is it by? I think Real Techniques. Yeah. This deluxe crease brush. Crease brush. Oh my God. It's amazing. I love it. Like I said, not saying I don't love uniques, but sometimes you just got to try other things, man. So I did. All right, so I'm just gonna start blending these two colors together. But see how much more of this color pops now? So much more poppy, like it's all there. This is such a pretty color. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of Adored 
And I'm going to put it in the center here. And blend it outward a little bit. This palette's awesome, too, because, like, you feel like no matter how many times you mess up, it still comes out amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just trying to get the blending on a little bit more. But we can totally do that with the unwavering color. Unwavering. All right, so... Now that we've done that, I need a small little brush. I need a small little brush. There we go. I'm going to use this angled one. I usually use it for my eyebrows. And I'm going to pick up some unwavering. And start pulling that. So see, just a little bit of sparkle in the center there. However, that is not enough sparkle, so I'm totally going to have to fix that. Let's fix that. That is not enough sparkle. If you think that's enough sparkle, you crazy. We need more sparkle. Need more sparkle. Ooh. How about with you, mister? It's almost there. I have so many brushes. So this brush cleaner though is life, life changing. Life freaking changing. Oh my God, I love it. All right, so we're taking Unwavering. Because you can use it like right away. Oh, you cleaned your brush, use it right away instead of waiting for it to dry and all that fun stuff. Come on, dude. You gotta like really load up with you. Unwavering, I feel like. See that little bit of brightness coming through? Alright, let's get to the foundation part because I feel like It'll come out. Sometimes, like, skipping around gives you a second to, like, assess, like, what you're doing. I guess if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of that skipping around here today. And let's do our concealer. And we're going to do our concealer and Scarlet. So I think we're going to do Scarlet and probably Velour. Alright, so Scarlet, I'm doing the V's on my nose, a little on my forehead, and on my chin. So, you have to be really, really, I have to be really, really careful. I personally have to be really, really careful. I need to clean my beauty blender, so I'm going to use the sponge. Um, about my eyebrows still. Don't want those to get messed up. I'll be really upset. Alright, so. Blending this in to our skin, covering up any redness. I actually like using sponges more often sometimes. You just get a different like feel to it. And then getting all the redness up here. Blendy, blendy, blend. My dog's barking at something. Alright, so next up we are going to do foundation color. So I'm going to use the cream foundation in velour. 
um, since I did use Scarlet, and Scarlet's a little light for me, as you guys can see in all the spots, but it reduced the redness for me. Super plus. So, we are going to use, um, the, uh, velour color. Hang on. There we go. So, we're going to use some velour. Still using our sponge. Let me come closer so the, fr the lighting is a little better. Except I'm not liking the sponge. It's like absorbing more of the product. It's a different sponge. It's like absorbing more of the product than like actually applying to my face. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, so we're going to go back to this one. Snap back to reality. Oh, that's better. That's better, much better. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, Lisa. So I'm trying to decide which lip bonbon to play with today. I haven't quite figured out. Careful of my brows. Seriously cannot wait for them to be fully healed, though. I want to wash my face like normal again. Miss it. Miss it so much. There we go. Really careful around that. What we can do now is finish up our eye look. So again, using our limited edition palette. Why is this focus so bad? It look ghostly. All right, so I guess I just gotta be like all up in your business right now. Um, so again, we're using the limited edition palette. I'm in love with this palette. Love it, love it, love it. I love it more than anything. All right, so I'm gonna take on wavering again. Ooh. Like something in my eye. Ooh. There's something in my eye. Hold on. Alright, it's fine. Alright, so we're going to take on Wavering. And we're going to apply it, not to that brush actually, to the blending brush. And I'm going to go right along the top here. And it's like color changing magic. It's so pretty. I'm literally just buying 10,000 more of these for the color unwavering. This shimmery pink color here. I already have a dent in it with how much I've used it. I've used it as a highlighter. I've used it for my eyes. Um, I've seen people use it on their lips to like bring forward a little bit. So do a little lip sparkle going on there. Good idea. Alright, so I'm also going to take... Oh, we're going to do Purposeful. Purposeful eyeliner! So we're going to take the color Purposeful, which was one of the limited edition colors as well that is still in rotation. This is one of the rare ones that they still kept in rotation. And we're going in the waterline with this color. Like so. So we have a little bit of shape going on there. So it's like a how I describe it. It's a very pretty like purple color, mauve purple color. It's because it's cream foundation. I'm not used to that. I usually use the liquid one. So it's like a little like, oh, okay, I gotta fix this. Oh, okay, I gotta fix this. All right. So it's a um, liner, but it's like a purplish tinge. It's really pretty. All right. So we're gonna take Devoted again. And now we're gonna go 
under the waterline. Almost like a wing, but not a wing. And going under the waterline. Oops, that's alluring. We could make that a wing, actually. So we're going to keep taking Devoted. Yeah, we can make that a wing. Sometimes accidental wings are the best wings. It's always when you don't want a wing, you get the best wing. When you do want a wing, that's when all of a sudden your makeup's like, <laughs> no. And you're like, are you, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait for these to heal. Look at them. Can't wait for them to heal. Heal faster. All right, so again, I'm taking a little bit of a luring. And working that up. This is really pretty, though. It's a strong eye. It's very strong. All right, so we're going to take Unwavering. I love this color. The shimmery color again. We're going under the waterline and into the tear duct part of our eye. So, like, right in the center there. Digging it, digging it. Sorry, I have to like squint and make funny faces when I do my makeup. That's not weird, right? <laughs> That's not weird. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of Devoted to kind of start cleaning this up. Sometimes when you get that direction, then you're like, okay, now I know what I'm doing. I have like a slight hood here on this eye. Just so you know, no two eyeballs are the same. I don't care what anyone tells you, no two eyes are the same. Because both sides of your face are not the same. So just remember that. Alright, so now that that is finished, I think it's very dark. But, kind of like it. It's different. It's different. You know? <laughs> Let me say different one more time. Just kind of cleaning up any blending that got all messed up. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take my setting powder. I'm just going to put a little light layer underneath my eyes. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. So our Behold setting powder can't use my setting spray. Can't use my setting spray. Hi, Cassie. Which makes me kind of sad. Because the setting spray, like everything, it makes everything finish so nicely. Yeah, I need lashes for this look. I need to do my lashes. I'm like lightly dusting everything just to kind of give it that finish. I can't believe this lighting is so weird though today. I even have it on like the lowest. So it's like. <laughs> that was a little freaky and I'm sorry. That was like really freaky. And I keep like trying to tap it to like focus it and it's not doing what I want it to. It's not working. Oh well. Alright. So let's get our lashes on. So let's do. Let's do epic. Let's do some epic. Epic, epic, epic. I love epic. If you're looking for an amazing one step mascara, you need it. To rest me. You need it. You will thank me. I 
for applying our Epic. Actually, you know what? I think we need just a little bit of fibers in this. So we're gonna use our Totally Pumped Duo. So don't forget, duos and trios are still available. However, once we hit 1 million presenters, hi Katie, they will go away. So our Totally Pumped Duo, it's the Epic Mascara and the 3D Fiber Lashes Plus. So I'm rolling the fibers on the back of my hand. I'm not using the gel transplant. And I'm just adding it a little bit to the tips. Okay, and then sealing it in once again with Epic. Epic. So that is giving me some length, curl, volume. Look at that. Look at that. My eyelashes almost touched my eyebrows. Thanks, Unique. <laughs> Alright, so let me just do the other one. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a lip color or just a lip bonbon. So applying Epic. Ooh. I'm doing the whole no breathing thing again. <laughs> Wow, and that's just epic, and then this is the Totally Pump Duo. So, and this is actually my better set of lashes, so the fact that you can see this huge difference right now on the other eye, I'm kind of like, oh, look at that! I'm so ghostly looking! Alright, so again, just doing this to the tips. Like I said, all up in your business tonight. All up in your business. Dun, dun, dun. I need to exfoliate my lips tonight. That's what's going to happen after I take all this off. So, can I just tell you my favorite perk of working from home? Um, I get to play with makeup all day. Downside. I get to play with... Hi Genevieve! I get to play with makeup all day but no one is home to see it except for the dogs. My phone is 50% selfies. That's why I post selfies all the time. Because someone needs to see the amazingness I just did. Someone needs to appreciate it and I'm tired of my dog who's just looking at me like, okay mom, that looks nice. <laughs> like, hello. Appreciate me more, dang it. Okay, cool. So we've got our 3D and our Epic on. Now, Let's do a little bit of contouring because I need it because my face is very pale, as you can see in this washed out video. Ugh, stinking thing. What the heck? What is this good for? All right, so we're going to use a little bit of Malibu Beachfront Bronzer, and that was a big splash on my cheek that I didn't mean to do. Whew. Thank God for dual ended brushes. I'm hitting my forehead a little bit. Tomorrow is going to be a deep clean brush day. Like deep clean. So that means I just need to get some stuff to clean my brushes a little bit more. I ran out of, I used baby shampoo to clean my brushes. So I ran out the other day. So I need to pick some more up. So when you do your contour, you really shouldn't go any further than like the center of your eyes down, just so you know. <laughs> so I guess it's not too, too bad, but it's like, and here's my cheeks. <laughs> so it's a little strong for me, but that's okay. 
All right, so let's use, we used that one the other day. We used that one the other day. We used that one the other day. Where's my favorite one? Here we go. We're gonna use red velvet cake. So, it's this color, it's really pretty. We are going to do a little bit of lip liner first just to give a little dimension to this, this sad little pout I got going on. My lips are not like very, so I try to like make them look a little bigger at least using these products. All right, so we're gonna use Pompous Lip Liner. Going with the berries still. Remember when this was like a big popular look? Vanessa! It says you're not tuned in, but I saw your thumb go up. Vanessa, my love! All right, so we're using red velvet. See this color? So here it is. On my hand so pretty so don't forget this month's kudos they are on its way out um selling really really quick I'm actually gonna use unwavering again as a highlighter so they are on their way out so I'm just putting on like the tips of my cheeks um as of this morning it was 55% sold out however being it Friday and everyone was like payday um I wouldn't put it past them to say it is 70% out um, I will have to check the website, but you guys get it. It is so worth it. You get this palette, you get a lip bonbon, and you get a crease shadow brush. Ooh, my hair looks um, bomb right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so you get all that for $67. So you essentially get the lip bonbon for free. All right, guys, I'm tuning out, and hopefully you can get some good pictures with this weird lighting, and I will talk to you all later. Have a fabulous Friday night. Bye.